to all the girls I have loved before. Uh, this tune will use an F sharp. It will also use some uh, long notes. Three, four, one, for example. It will also use some double notes. Uh, C and E, for example. B and D, for example. And on the second page, you have, for example, E and C. D and B. Okay, remember you always read the double notes from the bottom up. Every year people do this. Which well, sounds very nice, but unfortunately it's not correct because it's not that, that there, that note should be down there. So it should be this, for example. And the second line of this second page has got a triple notes. Right. And at the very end, there's a strange little, little section where you don't play the second double note, you hold on the note instead, it's called a tie. So for example, this bit starts with a double note, G and C, two, three, four, just change to the A, B, and then the double notes. So the C is held on with your pinky, it's not this, two, three, four, one, it's not that, it's this, one, two, three, four, hold on the C but play the A, B on its own, and then G and B together. Three, four, one. Okay. Uh, something a bit different on this particular video. For when you tell me that you love me, I have made two videos. One, the right hand. And then the other video, so once you've learned the right hand, with a bit of luck you've learned the right hand, and then you can add in the left hand, and I've shown you how to add in the left hand. For example... That's my memory serves me correctly, that's how the tune goes. On this particular video, I will just make this one video in two parts. Part one will be the right hand only. D, G, F sharp, A, G, B, D, D, just like I did for the When You Tell Me That You Love Me song. The, then I will add another video at the, after that, but this time I will play the left hand. G. Four, one off A minor so this time I'm shouting out the left hand chord as you can as you can hear now while I'm on the topic of left hand chords you might find if you've not got a Casio keyboard or you're play, practicing this maybe on a piano as some people do when you play an A minor you won't get that particular sound that is a minor chord the shortcut on a Casio keyboard that's set up for Casio chord the shortcut for a minor chord is two notes, for example, A minor, A and B. So you might have to put up with your keyboard sounding like this. Obviously you'll play it down here, but it'll sound like this. However, you just have to put up with it. You're practicing the right notes. It might not sound very good, but you're practicing good, if that makes sense. The, the worst one will probably be a seven chord. For example, your D7, if you don't have a Casio keyboard set up to Casio chord, your D7 will not sound like this. It will sound something like this. But once again, when you get back into school and you get onto a Casio keyboard set up with Casio chord, you're used to playing D, E, F. So therefore you're used to playing the right notes. It might be better to do that actually and just put up with a clash of sounds because at least at least you're practicing properly and you don't have to then go back into school and try and work out, ah, what's a D7 again? I've not been practicing that at home. You might as well just put up with a clash of sounds and it'll be okay in terms of practice purposes. In fact, it's absolutely 100% acceptable to practice that way. It might not sound good, but you're practicing good. So, to all the girls I've loved before, right hand only with me shouting out most of the notes apart from the double notes. Here we go. After two. One, two. D, G, F sharp, A, G, B, D, D. Four, one, off. D, G, F sharp, A, G, B, C, A. Four, one, off. D, B, A, B, A, C. D, B, A, B, A, C. A, B, A, A, C, B. D, D, double notes, double notes. D, G, F sharp, A, G, B. D, D, four, one, 
of the G, F sharp, A, G, B, C, A for one of E, B, A, B, A, C, D, B, A, B, A, C, A, B, A, A, C, B, D, D, double notes, double notes, B, 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 double notes, and off, B, 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 C, B, A, G, triple notes, two, three, four, off, A, 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 B, C, double notes, and off, A, 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 B, A, G, F sharp, double notes, double, double, D, G, F sharp, A, G, B, D, D, four, one, off, D, G, F sharp, A, G, B, C, A, four, one, off, E, B, A, B, A, C, D, B, A, B, A, C, A, B, A, A, C, double notes, hold down the top note with your pinky, but play an A here, B on its own, and then double notes, two, three, four, one. Something I should have said is, let's look at that second page again, because it's a very quick jump up from here to here. So I'll play the second page, well not the whole of the second page, the first half of the second page one more time so you can hear that. B, D, D, double, double, B, 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 and off. Tricky bit there because you've got to jump and play the triple notes. A tricky section because you've got to go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, over the years I've learned to just tell people you play seven B's. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Then you play your double notes. It's quite a tricky section that you'll have to practice. This section's tricky because you've got to jump to play the triple notes. Yeah, see the jump? It actually says on the music, very, very unusually, it actually says on the printed music, jump. It's usually me that just writes things like that in the music, but it's actually quite quite tricky that section. Okay, right, so that's the right hand. So that will give you several weeks of work to practice the right hand. Right, and we'll now bring in the left hand. Casio chord, so left hand time. This time I'll shout out the notes, but this time I'll try and shout out the left hand chords. Uh, I might forget, just I've always said that, I might forget. And I don't know if, I, if I forget one, I'm certainly not going to re-record all this again. So just have to put up with me forgetting, and then just you just look at the keys on the on the on the screen, and you'll see which note to play. But I'll try and remember and shout out all the left hand chords. So here we go, left hand chords being shouted out, nice and slow, so you can practice both hands together. But this is several weeks down the line. Always right hand first, then left hand. So here we go, left hand chords. One, two, G. A minor D7 G C G G7 
C then G coming up now, C G. I made a wee mistake, I do apologise about that, sorry about that because my music's not in a proper music stand so it's folded over a wee bit, that's my excuse, hopefully I get away with it. Right, so I'll play that all over again, it's actually quite a tricky section that anyway, eh, it might be better if I go over it again because this particular part of the tune here, you don't play the left hand and the right hand at the same time, you play the right hand, the double note in the right hand first, then you bring in the G. So I'll go from the top of this page, one, two. Then the G A minor A minor D7 G Okay Right, just proved that I could actually play it properly. I played play it right that time. So can you see that bit? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, C. Da, da, da. Left hand. Left hand. Now the left hand. Quite a tricky section that because it's the only part of the song. In fact, it's possible the only time you've ever played keyboard where uh, the right hand is separate to the left hand at that bit. Separate, then the left hand. Okay, so there you go, two songs that you've got when you tell me that you love me to practice both hands together and you've now got two of the girls I've loved before, both hands together. So lots and lots and lots to work on, lots to practice. Remember on YouTube, you can, I spend my life on YouTube learning jazz piano songs, learning songs and rewinding it, slowing it down, seeing what somebody does, how does this person do this, all this fancy... <laughs> jazzy stuff. I go, what, what, what's that person doing there? So I know exactly how you can learn on YouTube. You can learn from watching the keys, slow it down, play it back, pause it, etc. Go for it, right? Maybe maybe have this set up somewhere on an iPad and press pause, etc. No excuses if you're doing your hire next year, right? Absolutely fine to learn from these videos. And when you come back into school, eventually come back into school, you'll be miles, miles ahead in your higher course. Absolutely nothing to worry about. You'll be miles ahead from watching these videos. Okay, all the best. Stay safe and practice hard, everyone.